Today, we're starting superhero families, and guys, check it out. I'm Spider-Man! Whoa, you're swinging around everywhere! Yep, I can shoot my webs, and I can swing on trees and stuff. This is awesome! Whoa, did you just do a front flip? And wait, hold on. Did I? Wait, can I do that? <gasps> Whoa, I didn't even know I was doing that. That is awesome! That's crazy! What else can you do? Um, well, hold on. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I can shoot webs at people, and... Whoa, I've got, like, a bunch of different types of webs. Wait, sticky webs? What do these do? Hold on. Whoa, they just stick wait, to wait, stuff. Wait, not at me. Take this. Take a stick. Oh, it's sticking to you, ah, Kim! Stuck on my face! Ah, get Whoa. away! Oh, wait, hold on. I've also got these other ones called ricochet webs. I'm pretty sure these ones will bounce if I shoot them. And oh, they don't look like they're bouncing. Whoa, one of them just bounced on that tree over there. That was sick. That is so cool. That's so good for trick shots. Yo, yeah, this is awesome. If I ever need like a snack or something and it's far away, I can just use my webs to bring it over to me. But wait, hold on. What abilities do you guys have? Oh, I, I'm Superman. I have uh, probably the best abilities. I've got my obvious. I got my heat vision. Whoa, what? You can shoot lasers on your eyes? That is crazy. Be careful. Yep, I've also got my freeze breath and... Uh, uh, whoa, 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 wait. Freeze breath? What? Did you just freeze the trees? Yeah. And Oh, no. You just changed them into acacia trees. What the heck? I'll be fine, but uh, also Superman, uh, you know, he can fly. Okay, okay. That's pretty nice, but wait, hold on. Is there anything else you got? Uh, not really, no. Ooh, all right, well, that was pretty crazy, but hold on a minute. Ruby, what superhero are you? You kind of look messed up. Um, I'm Iron Man, but my suit's a little broken, but uh, I can aim and do energy blasts like and, this. Whoa, what the? Chill, chill, chill. Don't hit us with those. And I can fly, too. Ooh, look, okay, so I can go like that, but then I can also go super fast like this. Whoa, wait, that is awesome. Whoa. I know, right? I'm pretty awesome. And then it has like a sentry mode, which is like, I guess it um just shoots stuff. Whoa, wait, you can go out of your suit. Okay, that is actually awesome. But hold on a minute. Do you guys see that smoke over there? What is that? Oh, yeah, I see it. Uh, what, Is that a campfire or something? Wait, Kim, did you start a fire when you were using your laser eyes? Hold on a minute, guys. We cannot be starting forest fires like that. And oh, I didn't. Wait. Do it. I made sure to look up. Hold on. It looks like it's just a campfire or something. And wait, why is there a cave over here? What is this? I think we need to check it out, guys. Hold on. This cave looks kind of suspicious, but we're the superheroes. This is our job. We need to go investigate. And wait, hold on. What does this sign say? Warning. Do not enter. Oh, no. That just makes me want to enter more. Well, let's go. Come on. Yeah, we have to enter. We're superheroes. Yeah, but it is our job. And uh, why is there a skeleton skull there? Why? That is kind of creepy. Maybe it's fate. Um, wait. There's another one over here. This one's for a wither skeleton. Oh, no. This is not good. Good. What even is this place? I don't know. It's some weird cave. I, wait, hold on. Let me use my x-ray vision to see if anything's around. I, I don't see anything. All right. And hold on a minute, guys. It looks like there's a door over here. Should we check it out? It looks like there's a creepy hallway in front of it. Yeah, let's go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're the superheroes. We got to make sure that no one's getting hurt over here. At, uh, uh, guys, do you see that boss bar? Does that say Godzilla? Um, What is Godzilla? Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Hold on, guys. Let's go down to the bottom of this staircase. And uh, what was that? Uh, guys, I just saw something scary. I think I just saw wait. a Wait a minute, I just used my x-ray vision and there's a giant, like, Godzilla on the other side of the wall. Oh, no, what is that? Why is there a big oversized lizard thing there? Oh, no, oh, no, this is not good, guys. What do we do? That's Godzilla. It's so big, I can only see its foot. Oh, my gosh, that thing is massive. And wait a minute, hold on. What's all that stuff over there? Uh, wait, is that my kid? Wait, there's babies over there. I, I, I see them. Wait a minute, that baby over there looks like me. I think that's my kid. What the heck? Oh, no, wait, what is my kid doing here? And uh, guys, I, I I think your kids are here, too. What the heck is this? Jimmy, baby, I'll break you out. Uh, come on, Cam Baby. We've got to go. Guys, guys, guys. We got to break out our kids before Godzilla notices. Everyone open the door. Dash Baby, you got to come with me. Yeah, come on, Cam Baby. We got to get out of here. Uh, guys, we got to be quiet. We do not want to anger that Godzilla. What if it sees us and tries to eat us? That's true. We should get out as fast as possible. And yeah, guys, come on, come on. Let's just go with all of our kids. We got to sneak out of this place before that thing notices us. And okay, run, 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 go. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes, let's go. Okay, we got all of our kids. Now let's just get out of this cave. That is actually crazy. Yeah, let's just get out of here, guys. Come on. Yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. Run, run, run. Wait, wait, wait. We got to close the door. Get your kid out, and then let's close the door. Oh, wait, hold on. We left our kid behind. Hey, you shut the door in your face. Okay, come on. All right, now let me close the door. And Okay, guys, we got to go. It's time to get out of there. Come on, come on, come on. I'm webbing my way out of here. And phew, we made it back. But oh my gosh, that was crazy. Why is there just a Godzilla underground? I don't know, but I think he was going to eat the kids. Oh gosh, yeah. Why else would he have them in those cages? And uh, guys, uh, he's going to notice that the kids are missing from those cages. He's going to come up and try to eat us soon. Oh, no. What do we do? I don't know. That thing is huge. Uh, yeah. What are we supposed to do? Hold on a minute, guys. We got to build some safe houses to protect our kids. I'm going to build a Spider-Man safe house right over here. I'm going to build a, a Superman safe house right here. And I'll have an Iron Man one right over here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is actually crazy. Here. I, 
Dash Baby, get inside of these walls real quick. I'm just gonna keep you inside of this little box for now just to make sure that you don't get lost. Baby, baby, you stay right here while I build this stuff. Oh, gosh, this is actually crazy. How did our kids even get down there? I don't know. Maybe they got kidnapped? Yeah, that was crazy. We could not let our kids get kidnapped again. But here, I'm gonna build my base going really high up in the air. I'm gonna build a whole tower. Yeah, I'm gonna build a giant ice castle. Ooh, nice. All right, well, here, I'm still working on my tower. What I gotta do is build one more layer of walls like that. And then let me grab a little bit of stained glass. And I'm just gonna start putting a few stained glass windows all across my tower over here like this. This is gonna look pretty sick. So there we go. Just gonna have a few glass windows over there. I think this should be good. And now what I can do is let me just run the command slash slash wand to grab a magic wand. And let me select this position here. And also this other position all the way up here. And now if I look up, I can run the command slash slash stack. And boom, there we go. Check it out. Now I just stacked up my tower. This sick. Hold on. Let me go ahead and add a floor over here really quick so that, you know, there, there's like a platform to stand on. And um, wh what is that? What the heck is this? Wait, is this a sign from Godzilla? Oh, no. Why is there a big portal here? Why is it like spinning around and stuff? Need vision! I think this is a super villain invasion. Oh, no. They're trying to get our kids back. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, guys, we got to take all these things out. Check them out. Check this. I'm going to try to destroy the portal. Yeah, wait. We got to destroy the portal. How the heck do we destroy this thing? Do we just like break it? And I, I can't even break anything. What's going on? It won't let me. What is this? I think we just have to survive until the end. Oh, no. I'm going to get my suit. No, I've been saving this ability. I'm going to use it on the nether portal. Yeah. I'm going to try shooting some webs at it. Whoa, what the heck? What are you doing, Kim? How is it still not destroying the portal, though? I don't know. What's going on? Hold on. I'm going to shoot some webs at these guys over here. I think we got to take all of them out. Wait, there's a super villain guy over here. Maybe we need to take out the big bad. Wait, what? There's a villain guy? And Whoa, yeah. Okay, this one looks like their leader. All right, all right take him out. Go, go, go. I'm just going to keep on shooting webs at him. Take this. And Sonic Punch. Whoa, that was awesome! Multi strike! Take this! Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna shoot some of these impact webs. I'm pretty sure these do the most damage. Yeah! My suit's doing so much right now. Let's go and whoa, wait, one of them just froze! And another sonic punch. Hey, yeah! Damn, keep doing the sonic punch thing. I think that's doing a lot of damage. The portal's closing. We did it! And wait, it did feel let's go! We did it! But oh gosh, guys, that was really scary. That means that Godzilla is really trying to get these kids back. He's trying to kidnap our kids. Yeah, for sure. I need to get back in my suit right now. Yeah, wait, hold on. We gotta get rid of these last few guys. There's still a few that are alive. Let me just take them out with my webs. Take this. Come here. You are not getting Dash Baby anytime soon. Ooh, my Iron Man suit did really well by itself. Yeah, but wait, Ruby, your kid's out in the open right now. I would be careful of that if I were you. You don't want any of these bad guys trying to get your kid. I need to build this wall faster. All right, but anyways, I think this is the last one, and there we go. Finally, we took them all out. That was crazy. Yeah, I don't want that to happen ever again. We need to keep on building. Yeah, we need to make our bases super strong so that can never happen again. And yeah, that was crazy. We we gotta be prepared for every type of attack. We gotta be prepared for a crazy nether portal attack with a portal spawning on top of our base. I don't even know what that was. I don't know either, but I don't want to wait around and find out. Yeah, same here, but here, I'm building a roof for my base right now. That way, in case any mobs try spawning in through another portal, they're all gonna be caught up here in the roof. But here, let me just finish up this roof like that. There we go. And then what I gotta do is select all of this again. So let me select that. And then also this other position all the way down here. And now I can look up and run the command slash slash stack a uh, 10 and boom there we go check it out now i've got a big tower this is awesome jeez whoa that's huge yep i call it the spider-man tower it, it looks pretty good but hold on a minute i still need a door i don't have a door yet oh uh, yeah that's pretty important if you want to get in and out to protect your kid yep and hold on a minute i'm definitely gonna have to use an iron door i do not want just anyone getting into this space let me just grab one of these and uh put it down over there but wait a minute it's not gonna be that safe if i just put a lever next to this iron door that way anyone can just get in if they flick the lever I gotta have, like, some sort of hidden button to open up the door. So, hmm, what could I do? Um, you can make it more hidden, I guess. I could do that, but oh, wait a minute. I think I have a cool idea. Let me grab a button really quick and just put that down right over here. If I hit the button with my webs, is it gonna activate the door? Let me just try this out and... Oh, yes, that worked! Okay, that's actually perfect. Here, what I'm thinking I do is let me go ahead and just go all the way up here to uh, this floor of my building and just put down a button over here. And then let me grab a little bit of redstone and just connect the redstone from this button all the way down to my door. That way, the only way to open up my door is to hit this button all the way up here. And no one's gonna be able to do that other than me because I got my spider shooting abilities. Uh, dash? Yeah. I, I can't. Well, yeah, but the villains are gonna be able to and... 
Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I just realized Godzilla's like probably taller than my giant tower. Oh gosh, he's gonna be able to hit it with his hand. Yeah, he's just gonna be able to press it and then just knock down the building because he can't even use the door. Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, well, hold on a minute. If the button idea is not gonna work, then what should I do? I gotta have some sort of hidden way to get in my base. Yeah, you need a way to super villain proof that thing. Yeah, okay, okay, hold on. What could I do as Spider Man, but the super villain can't? And oh, wait a minute. I know, I can use my webs to get to the top of the tower super quickly. Godzilla's not gonna be able to do this. That's a great. Great idea. I gotta use this here. Let me just go ahead and web myself up to the top of my tower real quick. Let's go. And okay, yeah, I think that's the move. I'm gonna have the entrance for my base at the top of my tower, not at the bottom. That makes sense. Yep, and Godzilla's gonna be too fat to even fit through. Okay, let me go ahead and set another roof over here. I'm just gonna set this roof up here into a little bit of red concrete. Boom, there we go. And all right, I guess we can have the entrance area be right over here. Yeah, let me grab a little bit of fence. And I can just put some fence around it to make it look nicer. Yeah. All right, so Sick. Well, anyways, now that I've got my secret entrance that only I am able to get to, or uh, you guys as well, since you can fly, now it's time to start building some stuff inside of my house. And okay, I think the first thing I gotta build are some defenses to keep all the super villains away. So here, let me go ahead and grab a few dispensers. What I'm thinking is I can have a bunch of dispensers around my house to just shoot fireballs everywhere. Well, fireballs? Yep. What I'm gonna do is build a big ring of dispensers all around my tower. And since Godzilla is super tall, these are probably gonna hit him. Uh, you better baby proof those fireballs. What, Ruby? They're on the outside of my my tower. It's not like my baby's gonna be able to reach them. You would be surprised what toddlers can do. Wait, that gives me an idea. Wait, it does? What is it? Ooh, I'm gonna make a dispenser ring around my castle that shoots harming potions. And ooh, wait, that's a good idea. That's gonna do a lot of damage. But here, what I gotta do right now is just put a bunch of redstone around over here. I gotta put this redstone right next to the dispensers. So I'm pretty sure this should activate it. Let me just put on a button here and test it out. And what? Can I not put a button on a floor? Okay, I guess I have to put it on the wall. Let's test this out. Let me press the button. And yes, I think that just activated all of the dispensers. But, oh, uh, wait, hold on. The dispensers are kind of empty right now. Let me grab a few fireballs and just yeet those inside of the dispenser right over here. There we go. And, okay, okay, now let me hit the button again. Is this gonna work? And, well, did it not work? Wait, what? What's going on? Hold on a minute. Are my fireball shooters not working at all? And, wait, it's shooting the fireballs, but the fireballs are, like, going away after a second. What is this? Wait, what's going on? Check it out. I'm shooting the fireballs, but then they just disappear. Wait, what? Hold on. Maybe if we try a potion of harming, maybe that'll work? Yeah, wait, that's a good idea. Let's try giving that a go. Let me grab a few harming potions potions real quick and uh, let's put the harming potions in this dispenser over here let's just eat those all in there and all right is this gonna work and oh whoa it just shot the harming potions so far away oh, maybe these are like super dispensers and they're just like sending them flying i don't know i'm pretty sure they're normal dispensers i don't know if there's any other types of dispensers yeah but wait wait this actually gives me an idea as well instead of using fireball dispensers what i could do is just put down my dispensers going downwards like this and then inside of them i could put a bunch of harming potions oh yeah i'm gonna use my harming potions over here nice that's nice yeah and this should hopefully work i think let me just put down uh some redstone over here and then press this button and yep okay that worked it needed a harming potion right over there okay this is perfect well now i guess it's time to break all of these old dispensers man i really thought this other idea was gonna work the villains must have disabled the fireballs <laughs> what how would they even do that i don't know they're villains they're meant to be super smart and stuff oh gosh okay well that is not good at least they didn't disable the harming potions but here i'm putting down a bunch of dispensers with harming potions inside of them right now this should hopefully do a lot of damage to the villain. Here, let me just use some commands real quick to put these dispensers all around my entire tower. So, there we go. Let me just stack it this way uh, a few times. There we go. Just gotta stack these dispensers one more time this way. And, alright, there we go. I've now got a big ring of dispensers all filled up with a bunch of harming potions. Now I gotta put down all the redstone again. Uh, I gotta break all this old redstone. The villains messed it up. Alright, here. Now let me go ahead and rebuild my redstone on top of all of these dispensers. Guys, this trap is actually about to go crazy once it's done. Yeah, my trap setup too is gonna be awesome. Oh, man, I haven't put any traps yet. Wait, you haven't set any traps yet? What have you been building so far? Oh, I've been trying to build a fake entrance this whole time. And wait, what? This whole time you've been trying to build a fake entrance? Well, uh, is it working? Is it a good fake entrance so far? I think it's a good fake entrance, but it's not done yet. Ah, uh, all right. And whoa, okay, I'm looking at your base right now. This looks pretty interesting. Is the entrance not just over here through this door? Nope. That's not the real entrance, no. Nope. Oh, wait, hold on. I kind of feel like I'm inside of the building right now. Am I not inside of the building? Oh, wait, is, do you have, like, a whole nother base over here? Here, here, go inside my building and try to find me. And Wait a minute. Are these doors? I knew it! Yep, 
this is the fake entrance over here. Whoa, okay, okay, that is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, but wait a minute. What is going on with your head? You have like, your hair is like floating around and stuff. What? Hey, it's rude to say that. <laughs> what? Oh no, okay, wow, well, that Iron Man suit must have done something. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to my building as well. Now that my trap is done, the last thing I need to do is test it out. But hold on a minute. This isn't gonna work quite yet. I need to put a bunch of repeaters in this mix so that the redstone signal doesn't fade out. Let me go inside of the base real quick, and I guess we can have the button for activating this trap be right over here. Oh, wait, I forgot you can't put buttons on floors. We have to put the button over there. All right, all right, and now what we gotta do is let's just go ahead and put a few of these repeaters going over here across the redstone just to make sure that the redstone signal doesn't fade out. So there we go. This should be enough, and all right, now it's time to take it for a test. Wait, Cam, can you do me a favor real quick? Uh, yeah, what's up? Can you come hit this button inside of my base? I wanna see what it looks like from the outside. Oh, yeah, I like pressing buttons. Where's it at? Right over there. You should see it. Just go ahead and press that button, whatever, and then all of these dispensers should shoot out some harming potions. Let's see this. All right, here we go in three, two, one, button! And, whoa, that worked so well! Okay, okay, that is actually awesome. That's gonna do so much damage to Godzilla when he comes to attack us. Sick! All right, well, I'm gonna go back to building my castle. All right, all right, sounds good, but here, now let me just go ahead and finish blocking up this hole that I made earlier. We do not need this hole any longer, so let's just go ahead and fill all of this in. And Boom, there we go. My first trap is now complete. This is actually awesome, but hold on a minute. Let's see. What else should I start building inside of my base? I gotta build more defenses than just this. Oh, yeah, true. And oh, wait a minute. I think I've got an idea. Since I'm Spider-Man, why don't I go ahead and put a big wall of webs around my base? That should stop any Godzillas from trying to get in. Wait, that's actually big brain. What? Yeah, yeah, this is actually super good because the Godzilla is gonna get stuck inside of the webs, and then while he's stuck, I'll hit the button, and then the harming potions are gonna come down on him. Well, you know what'll make him want to go to the webs even more? Wow, wow, wow. What are you thinking? He Pizza. Uh, what? Pizza? Uh, wait, does Godzilla really like pizza? Are you sure about that? Wait, I think that he's onto something. I think big lizards like pizzas. And wait, Cam, these pizza boxes are empty. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have to fill them up with pizza. Uh, here, take one of these. Oh, what? We have to fill them up ourselves? Oh, no, we're really wasting good food on this guy, huh? Well, maybe he's just hungry, and once he gets the pizza, he'll uh, turn around and go back home. Yeah, it's better the pizza than our kids. Oh, gosh, but wait, wait, hold on a minute. Instead of putting these pizza boxes outside of my house, why don't we put them on the inside so that he actually goes through the webs to get them? Oh, yeah, that's probably a better idea. Yeah, yeah, here. Let's just move the pizza boxes on the inside of the house. We don't want him just to get his pizza outside over here and then just leave. We need him to get stuck in the cobwebs. Yeah, we have to catch this guy before he tries to eat more kids. Yeah, and wait a minute. Hold on. This guy is technically just a big lizard. So what's the best way to trap a lizard? Wait, what is a lizard's biggest weakness? Um, cold? Wait, wait, is that true? Do lizards hate the cold? Yeah, lizards are cold-blooded, so they always like warm things, right? Wait, is that how it works? I thought cold-blooded things like the cold. Oh, yeah, wait, I think you're right. Maybe they do like the cold. And wait, hold on, Cam. That's that's actually not good for you since your entire base is made out of ice, but oh, that gives me an idea. Why don't I build a lava moat around my tower? It's fine. I'll just use my heat vision and blast him away. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That should work. But here, let me go ahead and finish up this cobweb wall real quick. There we go. That is looking pretty awesome. And here, now it's time to put down a lava moat. Let me grab some lava real quick. And I'm just going to put down a bunch of lava right over here in front of my base. And hold on a minute. I'm going to have to build a big lava moat. That guy is massive. Let me just build this moat going around my entire base. And uh, wait, Ruby, you might want to move your kid on the inside of your base. I I'm about to build a lava moat. I don't want your kid getting hurt. Okay, okay, um, come here, baby Ruby. You can come inside now. All right, all right, here. Let me just clear out a bunch of space for this moat. This moat is actually gonna go crazy. And boom, there we go. I've got the hole for my lava moat all dug out. Now it's time to fill it up with a bunch of lava. Let's go. And hold on a minute. I can just do this with commands really quickly. Let me select this position here and then also this other position right here. And I'm just gonna do slash slash set lava. Boom, there we go. Whoa, this lava moat is looking sick. Whoa, wait, can you put that in front of my house too? Oh, yeah, I should put it in front of my house. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I can put it in front of your house. Wait, do you want me to put it in front of yours too, Cam? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do my house. Don't worry about it. Just do Ruby's. All right, all right, here. Let me just go ahead and clear out a little bit of space in front of your house, Ruby. Let me just set all of this into air. Boom, there we go. And hold on a minute, guys. Uh, if you have wool next to your house or anything flammable, uh, you should replace it ASAP. Hold on a minute. Oh, yeah, maybe I, I, I'll just use some concrete. Yeah, wait, here. I'm just gonna replace all this purple wool around my house with a little bit of concrete. Let me just do that with commands real quick. Boom, there we go. That's looking a lot better. Here, Ruby, I can do it for your base as well. Your wall here is kind of on fire. My wall's on fire? Why? No, 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 your wall is on fire, but there you go. I just changed it to concrete, so it's no longer on fire. Oh, wait, never mind. It still is on fire, but now it shouldn't break. Since when did I... Oh, that wall. Yeah, but hold on a minute. Let me go ahead and extend this lava moat to go over to your house as well. Let's just set all of this into some lava. Boom! And wait, Cam, do you want me to extend the lava moat to your side as well, or do you still got it? Oh, I still got it. Ooh, all right, all right. This is looking pretty nice, but make sure to make 
can go around your entire house because we do not want any weak points for that Godzilla guy to get in. But anyways, this lava is looking pretty good. Our base is kind of looking like uh, it, it's in like a lava river right now. This looks like a whole lava river. Hold on a minute. I got to do some practice to get up to my base. I do not want to fall into the lava mid battle. Let me just shoot my webs up over here like this. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm almost at the top of my base. I just got to keep going up over here and then i gotta shoot a web onto these no i fell oh gosh okay this is actually kind of hard to get in my base wait actually hold on ruby you just built your base into a tower i can use yours to get up to my base yeah you can do that if you want to i don't mind let's go okay this is awesome i can use both the bases now i can just like web from one base onto the other base and then i can just go super fast let's go and yes there we go i made it onto my base all right let's go all right but anyways i've got the cobweb wall around my tower now and we've got the lava moat but hmm what other defenses should i build and oh, wait a minute no! i know wait i Cam, what, what are you doing? What just happened? Why'd you scream? What, what happened to your base? Did it just light on fire? I accidentally used my uh, the big ability and went straight through my base. Cam, you gotta be careful with your abilities. Only use them in case there's an enemy nearby. Did you sneeze or something? What happened? I think he may have accidentally sneezed and now there's like a bunch of fire in his base. I didn't mean to. Oof. All right. But anyways, what I was thinking is, what if I built some TNT cannons on my base? That could actually be really OP. Oh, whoa, wait. How big of a TNT cannon? Oh, I'm gonna build a few big ones. It's gonna be awesome. This should do a lot of damage to God. Godzilla. What I'm gonna do is just have them sticking out the side of my tower over here like this. Ooh, all right. It's gonna look sick though. Yep, yep. It should look pretty sick here. What I gotta do for TNT cannons is put down a few dispensers over here like that. And then let me put down a little bit of red concrete right here like this and then put down some water over here. But wait, wait. Actually, before I do that, I need to grab a slab and just put that slab down right over here like that. And then I can put down the water. And then finally, I need to put down one more dispenser over here. And now I just gotta fill them all up with some TNT. So there we go. Let's just shove like a stack of TNT in each one of these dispensers. And okay, perfect. The cannon should be pretty much done. Now I just got to hook everything up with some redstone. So let's just go ahead and put down three redstone repeaters over here. And then a bunch of redstone dust over here like that. And then finally, it's time to take this thing for a spin. I'm going to put a button down over here. And all right, let's see. Is this thing going to work? Hopefully this works and doesn't blow up my entire base. And okay, okay. This is looking pretty good so far. Is it going to shoot the TNT out though? And <gasps> yes, that worked perfectly. That was awesome. Yo, what? That actually worked? That was awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I was like half expecting it to just blow up in my base, but that actually worked really good. But hold on a minute. I feel like it went kind of far. The TNT exploded like out here. I kind of want it to explode like over here because this is where Godzilla is gonna be standing. I'm pretty sure what I could do to make that happen is just put the button over here and then put a repeater over here like that. And all right, let's take it for another test spin. Let me press the button real quick. And okay, let's see. Is this gonna work? It should shoot the TNT a little bit closer and Oh, actually, I think that did the opposite effect. Wait, what I need to do actually is get rid of one of the repeaters. Yeah, okay, there we go. Let's try it now. Let me hit the button again. And okay, this time the TNT should blow up much closer to the base. So come on and... Okay, that was a little bit better, but I think we can still do better. Let's remove one more repeater. There we go. All right, let's hit the button once more. Let's go. Is this going to work? I want the TNT to blow up like right here where I'm standing. So let's see this. Come on and... <gasps> actually worked perfectly let's go yo guys check it out i got a tnt cannon that's like super close range it's just gonna cause like explosions in front of my base it's awesome let's go it's sick let's go nice where's the button for it oh the button's up here you want to press it yeah i want to press it all right all right just pull up but here i'm gonna go ahead and build two more tnt cannons i'm gonna have three of them on the same floor over here it's gonna be awesome uh so do i just come in from the top and oh yeah, yeah ruby that's where the entrance is but oh i haven't really built a staircase yet you kind of gotta come in through the wall right now oh okay uh, i'll just uh uh, not this floor, not this floor. Oh, this one? Yeah, this one it isn't. Oh, okay, your hair is really going crazy now. Uh, oh, is it really that bad? Yeah, it's like flying and stuff. Wait, is that one of your suit's abilities? No, that's not supposed to happen. The detachable hair. Oh, gosh, but anyways, you can just press the button. It's right over here if you want to see. Okay, I'm going to press it now. All right, all right, check it out. This thing is absolutely crazy. It's going to blow up right in front of the wall. Cam, I would move if I were you. Wow, it just blew up right on your head. Whoa, that oh, actually it did. it flung me out. Yep, it's pretty powerful, but here, I'm about to build two more, and then I'm going to connect them all together so that they can all be activated by one button. Wait, uh, Ruby, your base kind of looks like a gumball machine. What? Wait, wait, what? Hold on, I want to see this. It, oh, wait, it kind of does look like a gumball machine. Don't say that. I can kind of see it. You got, like, the little area down there where you get your gumball, and then you got, like, a big gumball over here. It looks cool, though. I like it. Uh, thanks. It looks more Iron Man themed than gumball themed, I will say. Okay, then 
I guess it's fine. Well, here, let me go ahead and finish building this next TNT cannon. I gotta put some TNT inside all of these dispensers. There we go. And now I just gotta copy over the design from the other cannon. So there we go. One repeater and then the rest redstone. There we go. All right, let's test this out. Is this gonna work? And okay, here we go. Hopefully this one doesn't blow up the base. Let's go. And yep, yeah, that worked perfectly. Now I just gotta copy the design one more time right over here. And then I'll have three TNT cannons. And phew, my armor is finally done. And wait, Ruby, you built an armory? That is a banger idea. I'm definitely doing that next. Well, for me, having an armory is super important because my powers is just my suit. Yeah, true. Same here, kind of. If I lose my suit, then it's GG's. But here, I'm gonna finish up these TNT cannons first. I just finished building my third one. Let me go ahead and test it out real quick. And okay, I, I think this is gonna work. Let, let's see. Come on. And okay, yep, yeah, that worked perfectly. Now what I gotta do is connect all of them together with a little bit of redstone. So there we go. And now if I go ahead and press this button in the middle, it should activate all the TNT cannons. So here we go. Okay, okay, wait, they're all going off. This is gonna be crazy. I wanna see what this looks like. Let's go! And... <gasps> That was awesome. Whoa, wait, that actually looks sick. Yep, and the best part is I can literally just spam it as much as I want. Let's go, but hold on a minute. I think the next thing I should probably build is an actual way to get onto this TNT cannon room. I don't want just people breaking through the ceiling. I gotta add an actual like staircase or something. Yeah, I don't know if baby Ruby can climb ladders, so I'm putting down some stairs in case. Yeah, I'm gonna put down some stairs as well. Let me grab some of these. Ooh, red concrete stairs. These look sick. Red is just an awesome color. But wait a minute, are there blue concrete stairs? And oh, there are, I'm pretty sure the other color are Spider-Man is blue, so I gotta use both of them. Yeah, I think your colors are red, blue, and black. Yeah, I think it's red, blue, black, and white. I'll find a way to put some black and white in the build later, but for now, I'm just gonna put down some of these blue stairs over here. Nice! That is looking pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and build the next staircase to get to the next floor right underneath this one, so let's do that. There we go. That is looking pretty good, and now I think we just have to go down one more floor to get to the TNT cannons, and hey, there they are. Alright, let's go ahead and build this next staircase right over here like this, and okay, Okay, there we go. Now a bunch of my floors are connected through staircases. This is awesome. But anyways, the next thing I need to do now is build an armory. I gotta have an armory as well. And here, I guess I can just build this armory room on this floor over here. There's nothing else going on. So here, let me just go ahead and grab some armor stands real quick. And uh, wait, hold on. Where are the armor stands? Whoa, wait, hold on. Do I have to use these weird stone armor stands? What in the world are these? Uh, what? I've just been using an armor case. Wait, an armor case? Hold on, hold on. Wait, let me try out this stone armor stand really quick. I want to see what this looks like. And what? Hold on. You can't even put armor on it. This thing is horrible. Oh, wait, hold on. I, 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 I think I just put all my armor on it. What in the world? How do I get my armor back now? And, oh, I see. You can just, like, put on your whole armor set and then put it back on. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think you've got the idea. Okay, okay, wait, wait, hold on. I think I'm going to use these armor stands over here. These things are awesome. Okay, well, what I got to do is, uh, let me grab some smooth stone blocks real quick. Oh, no. Wait, why did you just say, oh, no? Um, my face is all messed up. Wait, what? Your face is all messed up? Wait, what did you do? Hold on, I'll show you. Oh, gosh. Okay, everyone's face is getting messed up. Let me see this. Where are you? Uh, I'm right over here and oh no what the heck happened to you too the same thing was happening to ruby my whole hoodie is just uh, not on oh no this is horrible uh, guys i think the super villains are doing something this is they're doing uh well why isn't it happening to you uh i'm just too handsome they can't mess with me i guess to be fair if they did do to you i wouldn't be able to tell the difference what that is okay that's very rude Ooh. All, right, all right but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my armory room what i gotta do is put down a bunch of these armor stands over here like this there we go that is looking Looking pretty nice. And all right, now I got to find some armor to put on them. So uh, what type of armor should I use? I guess the first thing I should grab are some extra sets of this normal Spider-Man armor. I can just put an extra set of Spider-Man armor over here. And then I'll put one more extra set of Spider-Man armor over here like that. There we go. There we go. Now I've got two extra sets of my normal Spider-Man armor. But anyways, I'm pretty sure there's some other cool types of Spider-Man armor that I could use. So let me just go ahead and search up Spider and... <gasps> Whoa. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of stuff. Whoa, wait, there's like Spider Iron Man armor. Sp Spider Iron Man armor? Wait, it's our stuff together? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like combined. Hold on, I want to find one of these sets and see what it does. That sounds kind of sweet, not gonna lie. That actually sounds awesome. Imagine being able to do all of like Iron Man's abilities while also being able to shoot webs. That sounds pretty OP, to be honest. That sounds all right, but not as cool as being Superman. Nah, nah, being a spider and an Iron Man, it sounds way cooler. Hold on, let me go ahead and grab a full set of this Iron Spider stuff. And okay, wait, here, I just grabbed the full set of this Iron Spider armor. Let me go ahead and try it on real quick and... Whoa, what the heck? Wait, I can't see anything. What is going on? Ah, everything's black. Wait, Ruby, how do you turn on this Iron Man suit? I can't see anything. Uh, I don't know. Sounds like a you problem. Uh, what? Hold on. Can I take off this helmet at least? And, oh, okay. I can take off the helmet. But wait, what? If I take off the helmet, then the whole suit is useless. 
Okay, you know what? I don't need this iron spider suit. There's garbage. Garbage? How could you say that? I couldn't find the on switch, so it was useless to me. Oh, um, I guess so, yeah. Maybe I'm just better than you at using suits. What? Okay, okay, well, hold on a minute. I found some cool other Spider-Man suits. I found this one over here that's, like, blue and black. Let me try putting this on and... Whoa, okay, this looks kind of cool. I guess we can put uh, one of these sets over there on this armor stand. Let's see, let's see. What other types of Spider-Man armor are there? And, ooh, okay, this one looks kind of cool. I'm just gonna grab one of each one of these different types of Spider-Man armor. And just put each one of them on a different armor stand. So there we go. That one can go over there. And then let me put on this one and then put that over there. I don't even know what the difference is. They're all just like different colors. Let me grab this one right over here and put that on and then put that over here. And okay, I've only got two more armor stands left to fill. Hmm, should I place that armor stands? I really don't need them. And I think it's probably a good idea to do it just in case. Um, I think it's good to have a backup. Yeah, exactly. What if Godzilla like damages your current armor? You never know what's gonna happen. You have to prepare. Well, Superman doesn't need his armor to be Superman. Yeah, but what if there's, like, a, your weakness or something somewhere? Yeah, don't you need the armor to protect yourself from your weakness? The armor doesn't protect uh, Superman from his weakness, and his only weakness is kryptonite. I don't think Godzilla's gonna have it. You never know. You have to prepare. Yeah, you gotta be prepared, but hold on a minute. I just put down a bunch of chests inside of my armory room. I gotta find some cool weapons that I can maybe use. Are there any cool swords that I could use? And <gasps> wait a minute. Oh, what, what in the world is this? Guys, I just found a chicken sword. What is this? A what sword? It's a chicken sword. It's just like a big chicken on a sword. What? Uh, that's interesting. Hold on a minute. Let me grab a zombie spawning. I want to see how much damage this thing does. Let me just uh, fight this zombie real quick. And okay, it took three hits. That's not that good. Are there any cool axes that I could use? And oh, <gasps> Whoa, wait, it looks like there's a lot of cool types of axes. Whoa, wait, hold on. There's an emerald battle axe. Wait, this thing looks awesome. Hold on, hold on. Let me grab a zombie spawn egg real quick. I gotta test this thing out. Zombie, come here. Take this. Let's go. And okay, it still takes three hits to take out the zombie. But hey, this thing looks way cooler. Let me just eat a few of these emerald battle axes inside of my chest. Boom, there we go. And hold on a minute, guys. Everyone, we should also grab a bow. Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, being able to shoot stuff from far away is gonna be very helpful. And ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. This bow over here looks pretty cool. It's called the compound bow. Well, now that I think about it, I can already shoot things from far away, and I have plenty of suits, so maybe I don't need a bow at all, actually. Oh, yeah, right. You probably actually don't need a bow, and oh, whoa, wait, hold on a minute. There's so many cool types of arrows. There's, like, the triple arrow. There's, like, the boxing glove arrow. What the heck? Oh, yeah, I think I see one of those before. It was, like, a triple bomb arrow. Wait, triple bomb arrow? What the heck? Whoa, I found it! The triple explosive arrow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait, this stuff is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Hold on, hold on. I want to try this out. Let me, uh, just put all of the other arrows inside of this chest real quick. And, all right, guys, I'm about to test out this triple explosive arrow. Let's see, what is this thing going to do? I'm gonna test it out outside of our house because, uh, uh, you know. Oh, whoa, wait, this bow looks sick. It does not look like a normal bow at all. And, uh, wait, hold on. I, I'm, it's not doing anything. I'm pulling it back, but it's not working. Does it not work with the triple explosive arrows? Maybe you're just using it wrong. But, hold on. It's not even working with normal arrows. How do I use this thing? Uh, I don't know. Hold on, let me grab one. Wait a minute, hold on. I think what we need to do is grab a quiver and, yeah, hold on, automatic quiver. Let me grab that really quick and uh wait how do i use this oh wait it's working yo wait check it out my quiver is loading up with these uh triple explosive arrows and now if i pull back the bow <gasps> whoa check it out wait hold on are you making it do it as well wait is that just a normal arrow uh, yeah it's just a regular arrow <laughs> normal arrow that's for noobs check it out i got a triple explosive one whoa that was awesome they just exploded wait, how far can you shoot with that i don't know let's find out let me just shoot over here and whoa okay i think you can shoot pretty far let me try aiming up a bit yeah whoa you can shoot really far what was that noise Oh, oh, uh, don't worry about it, Ruby. We weren't shooting your house or anything. You're good. Uh, we were kind of close to your house, but we weren't actually hitting it. Wait, what if there's a thing called, like, a, a, a grapple hook arrow? Wait, is that a thing? Hold on a minute. No way! And, whoa, grappling hook arrow? Wait, what does it do? Uh, it probably just, like, grappling hooks you somewhere. Wait, wait, actually, that's kind of useless for me. I already got my web. I don't need no grappling hook. Yeah, who knows, though? This could be good whenever you want to, like, you know, combo with a grappling hook. Whoa, wait, I see you're using it right now. Wait, how do you get it out? Um, oh, I just uh, hit it. There we go. All right, well, that's pretty awesome, but anyway. This bow is actually OP. I'm definitely going to use this. Hold on. I need to find other types of cool arrows I could use. There's this one thing called the Karo. I'm pretty sure it's just a carrot arrow. That is interesting. And <gasps> Cam, I think I found something that you might like. It's called the Pufferfish Arrow. <gasps> Give it to me. Okay, okay, wait here. I'm gonna drop it on top of your tower over here. It's just an arrow with a puffer fish on top of it. I don't even know what the point of that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, do you just like shoot your target and then the puffer fish goes bites them? I don't know. Hold on. I'm just gonna shoot real quick. Hold on. Let's see. What does this puffer fish arrow do? Uh, let's find out. And wait, wait, hold on. I think it just spawned in a puffer fish. Yo, wait, it's got a puffer fish at the end of the arrow. That's sick. Oh, wait, don't hit me with it. I don't want I don't want your puffer fish. Wait, it like flops like a puffer fish on the ground. That's cool. Oh, whoa, wait, hold on a minute, guys. There's like a bunch of different types of arrows. There's a detonator arrow, a pulse 
Pulse Arrow, Heated Arrow, what Entangled Arrow. This arrow is going crazy. Ender Pearl Arrow, what the? Okay, hold on. All of these arrows are pretty crazy. I'm just gonna grab one of each one of these interesting looking ones. Let me grab some Smoke Bomb Arrows, some of these Slime Arrows, a few of these Triple Explosive Arrows. I'm just gonna grab like all the cool ones. Wait, there's one called the Gross Arrow. Oh, uh, what? Hold on, does anyone want to get shot by the Gross Arrow? I kind of want to test it out. No, that sounds, uh gross yeah okay okay you know what fine i'll test it out on a zombie or something let me grab another quiver so i can reset my arrows again all right there we go i've got two of these gross arrows loaded up now let me spawn in a zombie and all right zombie you're about to get hit with the gross arrow oh wait it's burning to the sun this isn't a fair test hold on hold on let me spawn the zombie over here underneath the leaves that way it's not gonna burn and all right zombie take this take the gross arrow let's go and uh, are you serious? It just, it just did nothing to it. What? How many hits is this gonna take? What? I had to three shot the zombie and oh, it dropped a carrot. Oh, that's a tomato. Did you get a carrot and tomato confused? How do you confuse a carrot for a tomato? Guys, they 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 have very similar names, okay? No, they don't. How wrong can you be? Guys, it's a common mix up, okay? But hold on a minute. I think what I'm gonna do is grab a bunch of these compound bows. I'm just gonna put an entire row of these inside of my chest. And then let me also put in a bunch of these automatic quivers. And finally, a bunch of arrows. I think I'm gonna go with some of these triple explosive arrows. I think these are probably the best ones. And then I guess I'll also put a few of these fireball arrows in there. Uh, a few of these slime arrows. Why not? Ooh, also a few of these ender pearl arrows in case I need to escape. But there we go. I think all of my archery stuff should be done. But hold on. I've still got two rows left in my chest. What else should I put inside of here? What about golden apples and like uh, potions of healing? And oh, wait a minute. You're right. You're right. We need a lot of healing items. That's going to be super clutch. Here, let me go ahead and grab a few enchanted golden apples. And of course, I also got to grab some healing potions. And here, I'm just gonna fill up this entire last row of my chest over here with a bunch of this stuff. Let's go. And boom, there we go. Now my gear chest is fully complete. Let's go. All right, all right. But anyways, now that I've got the armory room done, I've got a few defenses. I've got the armory room, but hmm, let's see. Is there anything else that I should build inside of my house? Well, Ruby Baby has to stay safe, so I'm making her a room that's fun and safe. And oh, wait, you're building a room for your kid? I completely forgot about that. My kid has kind of just been, uh, wait, hold on. Is he still alive? He's kind of just been chilling down here. Oh yeah, there he is. Let's go. Uh, he better be. Don't worry, don't worry, guys. I, I, I was taking care of him, but hold on a minute. Yeah, you're definitely right. I gotta build a better room for Dash, baby. So, uh, hold on. Let's build a staircase. I gotta get him up to, like, one of the top floors of the house. He is not safe down here. Make sure that he gets entertained, too, or he's gonna try to run away. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna make his room super entertaining. There's gonna be so much fun stuff in there. There's gonna be lots of, uh, I don't know. What do kids like? Uh... I don't know. TNT, yeah, I'll give him a lot of TNT to play with. I'm pretty sure they like that. Is that what kids like? I don't know. The first thing I gotta do is actually build a little staircase for Dash Baby to get up to his room, but hold on a minute. What room is gonna be the safest for Dash Baby to stay on? Let me see. Is it gonna be the first floor, second floor? Definitely not the first floor. Maybe the second floor? Okay, you know what? Actually, I think the third floor is gonna be the safest for Dash Baby. Since it's not gonna be at the top of the base, Godzilla probably isn't gonna see him. And since it's not at the bottom, hopefully no burglars break in. But anyways, Dash Baby, let's go. It's time to go up to your room. Follow me up over here. And all right, here we are, Dash Baby. Welcome to your new room. And, uh... Uh, okay, hold on. The room's not really done yet. I gotta do some upgrades to this place. First things first, let me grab some beds, and I guess we can put down a few beds right over here like that, and hold on a minute. I'm gonna make this a fancy bed. Let me grab some slabs and some fences, and all right, I'm just gonna put these slabs around over here like this, and then a little roof over here on the bed. Yeah, this bed is gonna look sick. All right, well, anyways, I've got the bed done, but hmm, what else is Baby Dash gonna need? And oh, right, he needs some entertainment. Okay, uh, uh so kids like TNT, right? And what I could do is grab some TNT, and then check it out. What I gotta do is build a little machine over here. I'm just gonna put some dispenser down over there and then a little bit of glass up here. And then let me just fill up this machine with some water. And finally, I gotta put some TNT inside of the dispenser. And okay, I think this should be good enough entertainment for Dash Baby. Let me try it out. What it's gonna do is shoot TNT into the water, but since it's inside of water, it shouldn't do any damage to the house. And yeah, that's awesome. What was that noise? Oh, nothing. That was just a new toy that I made for my kid. You wanna check it out? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I think all of us should build one. Otherwise, our kids are gonna get bored. Where is it's right here on the third floor. Here, you can just fly in through the wall. Uh, one, two, three. Three. Okay, right here. Yep, here it is. Check it out. This is Dash Baby's bedroom. And right over here is the entertainment machine. What Dash Baby needs to do is press the button, and whenever he presses it, it'll spawn in TNT. Oh, what? It just explodes in front of him? Yep, ultimate entertainment, isn't it? It's way better than, like, a TV. Uh, 
I guess so. I actually think it's kind of nice. Yeah, it's kind of like an aquarium, but like instead of fish, you got uh, <laughs> exploding TNT. Wait, speaking of fish, I didn't put in a kitchen. Oh, wait, a kitchen. Oh, gosh, I forgot about that as well. Oh, no, I don't want Ruby Baby to starve. Oh, gosh, okay. Well, I'm going to do that next as well. Let me finish up Dash Baby's bedroom first. I don't need a kitchen because uh, Superman doesn't eat. Well, what about your kid? Is your kid Superman? Well, I mean, uh, technically, yeah, he's like super boy right now. <laughs> he's super boy, uh, but does he have to eat? Uh, no, but uh, sometimes we do just because it feels good. Well, he gets cranky if you can't get sweet snacks i uh, know he actually doesn't like a uh, sweet food but we eat uh normal stuff like uh, you know wood and uh rocks and stuff like that uh, well, you guys eat wood and rocks that does not seem healthy yeah i don't think you should be feeding your kid that i, I let him choose what we eat huh? yeah he chooses everything that we eat these super people are kind of weird huh dash what was that yeah your diet is very interesting but anyways i just installed a big painting wall for my kid hopefully he likes that i think it looks pretty cool we got a lot of different paintings here we got a guy standing we got a wither and then we also got karate guy being uh, touched by a finger yeah very classic paintings but anyways what i need to do now is build a kitchen i'm gonna build that on the next floor i'm gonna build it right above dash baby's bedroom so there we go nice we got a nice little staircase connected over here now it's time to build the kitchen so uh here the first thing we gotta do is let me grab a fridge and let's just put down a few fridges right over here on this side of the kitchen yeah we can have two fridges one for me one for dash baby and then inside of the fridge i guess we can just have a bunch of normal food we can have some steak we can have some apples Ooh, some golden apples why not but i gotta make sure that all the food is super healthy because i do not want dash baby getting fat oh that's right because you want to train him to be a superhero too right y yep he's gotta be super strong he's gotta always be in shape all right but anyways now that the fridges are filled up the next thing I gotta do is make a little countertop area. So let me just go ahead and put down a few quartz slabs right over here like that. And then, ooh, for the sink, what we could do is grab a cauldron with some water inside of it. And boom, there we go. We got two sinks for washing your hands. Nice. All right, but hmm, what else do we need in a kitchen? And ooh, wait, guys, we need to have ovens in our kitchens. Everyone, don't forget your ovens. Oh, true, 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 true. Ovens are gonna be very important. We do not want to eat raw food. I can cook my food with my eyes. And oh, yeah, I guess you don't need an oven. But the rest of us do here. Let me go ahead and also grab a smoker. I'll put those over here on top of the oven like that. There we go. And all right, the kitchen is looking pretty good, but there's still one thing that we're missing in here, and that is a table to like sit down and eat and all that. So let me go ahead and grab a nice table real quick. I'm just gonna use this wooden one. And wait, wait, I also need to grab a chair. Let's see, what's the best chair that we have here? Hmm, this one over here looks pretty good. And now what we gotta do is build a little table set. Let's go ahead and put down our big table right over here like this. That is looking pretty good. And then now we can put down all of our chairs around it. So here, we can put on a bunch of chairs just in case we have any guests over. So there we go, just like that. Boom, nice, that is looking awesome. But hold on, hold on, let's add one last thing over here. I'm just gonna add a fence in between the table and the stairs over here just to make sure that no one falls off the staircase by accident. And there we go, the kitchen is now complete. And anyways, with that being complete, I think my entire kitchen is now done, let's go! And uh, What is that? Guys, do you see that boss bar? Wait, is Godzilla out? Wait, where is he? Godzilla's here, guys! Oh no, guys, he's literally right outside of our base. Oh, gosh. Wait, hold on. I gotta go to my armory. I need to get some weapons. Oh, no. And I'm in survival. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wait, I didn't even add a way to get out of my house. I didn't connect all of my floors together yet. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hold on. I need to break through my window. Come here, Godzilla. Come here. I need to get all of my suits into action. I don't have access to my bows right now, so I just gotta use my webs. Let me pull out my impact web and take this, Godzilla. You're going down. Yeah. I have to prepare, so I'll be there in a second. Okay, guys? All right. All right. Sounds good. Wait, hold on. Me and Cam are actually doing pretty good on right now. We're doing so much damage, I think. And oh, wait. Actually, never mind. We're not. Just look at his boss. Bar. His boss bar has not gone down a single bit. I'm gonna bring my army. Wait, Ruby, your army? What? Uh, you'll see. Uh, okay, but hold on. We just gotta keep hitting him. Let's go. This guy is so massive. Ow, stay away. Wait, can I try climbing on him? I'm gonna shoot a web on him real quick. And oh, that did not work. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yeah, Ruby, come with your army. We need the reinforcements ASAP. It's time for the one Ruby army. Wait, the one Ruby army? What are you talking about? And whoa, what the heck? You have so many Iron Man. All right, get him. And ah, oh, wait, they're attacking me. Oh, no. Oh, I'm freezing him. Come on. Wait, Ruby, I think your Iron Mans are attacking me. I, I think they got the wrong target. What's going on? Oh, wait, never mind. They seem to be good now. Sonic Punch! Wait, hold on, Cam. Do you have any extra food? I'm kind of hungry right now, and I left my food inside of my house. I, no, you're asking the wrong person for food, remember? Oh, yeah, right. You eat rocks. Okay, hold on. I think I need to climb my tower. I got to get up to the top so I can reach my food. Okay, let me just go up over here real quick. Come on! This tower is kind of hard to climb. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like I should have built a ladder, but come on. I'm almost at the top. Yes, there we go. I made it finally.
Really? All right, all right, but hold on. I need to go to my room and get some food. But wait, wait, before I do that, guys, lure the Godzilla underneath my base. I'm about to shoot my harming potions. Is he in position? Is he in position? Should I do it? Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. All right, all right. I'm gonna press the button. And okay, did it work? I think it hit it. Let's go. But oh gosh, his boss bar still didn't go down a single bit. Okay, let's see if this works. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm going in my chest right now. I'm about to grab a bunch of my stuff. So there we go. Let me grab a bunch of these healing potions. All right, I'm coming back into battle. Let's go. You know what? I'm gonna use my secret ability. Here we go. Here. Wait, your secret ability? What's that? The giant uh, laser eyes. Oh, yeah, right, kid. Do it, do it quick. That's going to do a lot of damage to him. I did, I did, I did. Let's go, let's go here. I'm going to hit him with some of my explosive arrows. Take this. Oh, actually, hold on. Right now, they're still using the gross arrows. I need to switch to the explosive ones. There we go. Triple explosive arrows. Let's go. This Godzilla guy about to go down. Ah, wait, what are your Iron Man's is attacking me again, Ruby? Uh, did you hit me? That might be why. I probably did by accident, but hey, it's hard to control. I'm using like a bow that shoots three arrows. But wait, guys, Godzilla's stuck in the cave. Now's our chance. Oh, yeah, let's go. Now that he's stuck in a cave, he can't really move anywhere. We got this. Let me just go down over here. And all right, I'm gonna get some melee hits on him. Take this. And, ah, why are you doing so much damage? Oh, God. I gotta splash myself with a potion of healing. Let's go. I don't know where to hit him. I don't know. I think he's got like a shield on right now or something. He's not taking any damage. I'm just gonna keep shooting my triple explosive arrows at him. And okay, I think we're doing more damage again. Let's go. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Wait, I have an idea. Wait, what's your idea? Dash, use these. And wait, use what? What is you can it? Use your spider powers to get into good places to drop them. Wait, what did you just drop to me, huh? TNT and flint and steel. Oh, okay, okay, I got this. Okay, here, let me go ahead and empty a hand real quick. I'm just gonna use my spider web to get up over here. And okay, where is Godzilla? I don't see him right now. I think he just went invisible. We just need more room to fight him. This place is too cramped. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, okay, okay, everyone, let's just get out of the cave, and then hopefully he'll follow us. All right, all right, let's just go up to the surface. Hey, Godzilla, if you want to fight us, come up here and fight us. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna take you down. And wait, wait, guys, he he came back up. Now's our chance. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! Ah, wait. Again, I think I kind of got hit in the crossfire of that. That did a lot of damage. Oops. Oh, wait, hold on. Is he still on the surface? Where did he just go? Did he go underground again? I think he fell back underground. I'm just going to beat him. You see him down here? Oh, there he is. All right, guys. Come on. We got to beat him up. Take this. Take this. Come here. Where is he? I can't figure out how to beat him. Guys, everything we've done so far hasn't even made a dent in his boss bar. What do we do? Maybe we need to run away. No, no, no. We cannot run away. That's what quitters do. We got this. We have to win. Yeah, we're superheroes. We can't run away. But wait, Ruby, do you have like any secret abilities or anything that you want to show off right now? That'd be cool. Yeah, do you have any secret abilities that just happen to instantly one-shot Godzilla's? No, but I have TNT. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot the TNT. Okay, hold on. We have to try that. Let me go up over here and just put down a bunch of this TNT. Check this, Godzilla. Hopefully, this does a lot of damage to him. Let's go. But oh, wait, this is actually going to do a lot of damage to us. Every be careful. I think it's working. I don't know about that. His boss bar barely even has gone down. Well, we have to keep trying. You're right. You're right. Here, let's just go. Keep on spawning more TNT. Come on. Yes, we actually, I think you're right. I think it is working. It's doing damage. Just be careful not to hurt yourself. Don't worry. I'm doing good. I'm taking like no damage here. Let me just spawn in more TNT and then light it up. Let's go. I'm going to use my super, ah, supervision. Let's go. Okay, okay, guys. I think we're doing some good progress here. Wait, where did he go? He's down here. He's down here. Okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's take this guy out. Come on. He's right here. He's low. He's low. All right. All right. Come on. We just got to keep doing some damage to him. I hit him with my compound bow again. Take this. Come on, supervision. Come on, you're about to go down, Godzilla. It's about to be over for you. Come on, he's got to be low. Where is he? I don't know. Where did he go? Did he dip again? No, he, he, he's just hard to see. He's like he, he's like going invisible. Oh, wait, hold on. I saw him for a second. I'm just going to keep shooting my compound bow randomly. I don't know where he is at all, guys. I'm sorry. He's got to be low supervision. And oh, we can't. You were just attacking me there. That wasn't Godzilla. Oops, my bad. Oh, guys, hold on. He must be super low now. Let's just keep on hitting him with our weapons. Let's go. TNT. I'm just going to keep using my compound bow on him. Take this Godzilla, come on! And wait, did we get him? I think we... I, I don't see him anywhere. Wait, I see him, but he's like super red right now. And oh, wait a minute. Uh, guys, I think we did it. He's like all red and stuff. Wait, is he going to die? What's going on? And wait, is he gone? Oh, guys, I think he's gone. I don't see the boss bar anymore. Let's go. We did it. Let's go. Although that caused a lot of chaos. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but our houses are still safe. Let's go. And so are our families. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.